At the end of uh, BVS, we, um, we leave Bruce, um, you know, fearful that there is an attack coming and needing to, wanting to gather up as many uh, metahumans as he possibly can. So the sort of nascent uh, stages of team building is, is where we're left. And uh, it's, this movie starts with, you know, Bruce actively recruiting and looking and researching and trying to find these superhumans that he's, uh, he believes are out there. JK, he's a perfect uh, Commissioner Gordon. He's got that kind of uh, realism, you know, down where he feels just world weary and, and gritty and feels like a guy who's been working the beat of Gotham, you know, for decades. And uh, he lends a real gravitas to the role. There's a modified Batmobile which is tricked out to take on the alien race, so it's made a little bit more lethal. And, um, and then there's the Batwing, which is pretty cool. Uh, you know, it's a ship that he flies around in, and he's got his huge, like, triple uh, seven that he just flies around when he needs to be transported somewhere. And he's building this bigger plane that he wants to be, to go longer distances. So Bruce Wayne has no shortage of ways to get around. He doesn't get, uh, he's not met with enthusiasm by everybody that he encounters. Um, you know, some people are a little bit more reluctant to join up, be part of the team. Uh, Ezra, you know, the Flash signs right up, but uh, Aquaman it takes some convincing. Cyborg also takes some convincing uh, from Wonder Woman. But together, we collectively start to assemble this group, and eventually they, they come around and realize that there's a need for us to work together. Batman and, you know, Superman and, um, a lot of these core DC characters still don't seem dated. They somehow still work in stories today. And I think that's just a mark of uh, characters that are very well drawn and ha uh, that they still have this kind of resonance, you know, that, the, and that they were invented in the 1930s.